गुजरात इंडस्ट्रीज डेवलपमेंट एसोसिएशन और एस एम ई चेम्बर्स ऑफ इंडिया द्वारा यूबी सहकार की नवा युग की आर्थिक तक में उद्योगकारों सेमिनार योजना जेमा इंडस्ट्री सेक्टर निष्णातों उद्योगकारों सहित महानुभव हाजर रहा था आ राउंड टेबल कॉन्फरेंस में विषय निष्णातों संके ठक्कर जितेन्द्र पटेल धवल विक्रम सिंह तथा सागर शाह विशेष महिति प्रेजेंट साथ रजू करी थी उद्योगकारों द्वारा पूछाये विविध प्रश्नों पड़ती मुश्किल विषय विशेष छणावट करी थी टूडे वी हेव ऑर्गनाइज दिस इवेंट पर्टिक्युलरली गुजरात इंडस्ट्री डेवलपमेंट एसोसिएशन एंड एस एम ई चेम्बर ऑफ इंडिया जॉइंटली विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ यू बी यू बी इज अ फाइनांस प्लेटफॉर्म अ फिनटेक प्लेटफॉर्म विच इज प्रोवाइडिंग सपोर्ट टू द इंडस्ट्री इन एस एम ई सेक्टर टू अवेल वेरियस सपोर्ट सर्विसेस ऑफ द फाइनांस सेक्टर फॉर देयर बिजनेस ग्रोथ एंड एक्सपेंशन आज के जो सेमिनार में जिस तरह से हमारे डिस्कशन हो गए उसका बहुत फायदा इंडस्ट्रियल एस एम ई सेक्टर को होने वाला है जिसके माध्यम से सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट सप्लाई चेन फाइनेंस ट्रेड फाइनेंस एक्सपोर्ट फाइनेंस वर्किंग कैपिटल और बहुत सारे फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स की जानकारी आज हमने दी है मुझे लगता है कि जो एस एम ई सेक्टर और मैनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज़ को फंडिंग की जो दिक्कतें आती है कौन से कंपनी को कौन से बैंक को कौन से फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशंस का अप्रोच होना है इस माध्यम से उनको बहुत अच्छी जानकारी मार्गदर्शन मिल रहा है और मुझे लगता है आने वाले कुछ दिनों में जब तक हमारे एस एम ई सेक्टर को जैसे जैसे फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट मिलते जाएगा इकोनॉमी के जो डेवलपमेंट है वो बढ़ते जाएगा और इंडिया का जो इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ है वो बढ़ने के लिए एस एम ई सेक्टर बहुत अच्छा काम कर सकती है अब मुझे लगता है कि गुजरात रीजन में अहमदाबाद रीजन में इस इंडस्ट्री को फ़ायदा देने के लिए गुजरात इंडस्ट्री डेवलपमेंट एसोसिएशन और एस एम ई चैम्बर ऑफ इंडिया लगातार प्रोग्राम कर रही है और इसका फायदा हम उनको निश्चित होने वाला है चंद्रकांत सालों के फाउंडर एंड प्रेसिडेंट एस एम ई चैम्बर ऑफ इंडिया एंड गुजरात इंडस्ट्री डेवलपमेंट एसोसिएशन थैंक यू फॉर स्पीकिंग टू मी मैं सागर शाह आई रिप्रेजेंट यू बी प्लेटफॉर्म जो विश्व का एकमात्र यूनिफाइड डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म है विच सॉल्व क्रेडिट प्रॉब्लम्स तो हम एक मार्केट प्लेस है जो लोगों का डेट रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स जो है वी सॉल्व एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू बेसिकली डीपन द डेट मार्केट इन इंडिया जहाँ पे लोगों को आज उद्योगों को आज क्रेडिट फैसिलिटी मिलने में दिक्कत हो रही है आर बी आई भी रेट बढ़ा रहे हैं इस ऐसे माहौल में टाइम से पैसा मिलना लेन देन होना बहुत ज़रूरी है एंड दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम ये जो दिक्कतें हैं ये हमारा प्लेटफॉर्म सॉल्व करता है और हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म में छोटी सी छोटी हैं कंपनियाँ जो आज शुरू हुई हो से लेके सबसे बड़े ग्रुप जी अब इंडिया के गिन सकते हो ये गिने चुने ये सारे जितने भी उद्योग हैं ये हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म के साथ जुड़े हुए हैं काम करते हैं साढ़े तीन हज़ार के करीब हमारे पास ऑलरेडी कस्टमर है जो लाइव हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म से काम करते हैं और ढाई से ज़्यादा लेंडर्स हैं पी एस ले लो एन ले लो इंडियन प्राइवेट बैंक ले लो म्यूचुअल फंड्स ले लो फैमिली ऑफिस ले लो ये सब में सारे हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म पे आके लैंडिंग करते हैं या यानी मतलब पैसा देते हैं इन उद्योगों को ताकि ये उद्योग को सफल तरीके से अपना उद्योग चला पाए अपना धंधा कर पाए सो so, ये दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी डू एंड ये इसलिए रेलिवेंट हो गया क्योंकि आज के इस कार्यक्रम में इट वॉज फोकस्ड कि एस को आज की तारीख में कौन सी दिक्कतें फेस होती है इंडस्ट्री में तो हमारे जो फेलो स्पीकर भी थे दे कवर डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्रेडिट रेटिंग को कैसे इंप्रूव किया जाए ताकि कि आप ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा पैसा अब मार्केट से उठा सको और अपना धंधा अच्छे से चला पाओ दूसरे जीतू भाई ने बहुत अच्छी बातें कही इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल डिफिकल्टीज आज की तारीख में जब स्केल करना हो किसी छोटे उद्योग को अगर बड़ा होना है या फिर इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस करना है तो क्या चैलेंजेस होते हैं और कैसे करना चाहिए उनका अनुभव जो था इस इस चीज़ को लेकर वो बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट था एंड वॉज वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड लगे हाथ इट वॉज वेरी क्लियर इन द होल डिस्कशन पूरे डिस्कशन में कि क्रेडिट मतलब जो लोन मिलती है लोन इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट जो पैसा का फ्लो है पूरे सप्लाई चेन में वो बहुत ज़रूरी होता है फॉर एनी इंडस्ट्री और उद्योग टू सर्वाइव थ्राइव एंड बी सक्सेसफुल तो दिस इज़ हाउ यू बी हैज़ बीन एबल टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ कस्टमर्स एंड वी आर लुकिंग फॉर टू डिपेंडिंग इट टू मेनी मोर बिकॉज आज की तारीख में वी आर स्टिल वेरी स्मॉल कम्पेयर टू द साइज ऑफ द अपॉर्चुनिटी वेन आई से दिस एंड वेन वेन आई से स्मॉल हम आज की तारीख में विद इन द स्पैन ऑफ ढाई से तीन साल में एक लाख करोड़ रुपये का डिस्बर्सल हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म के थ्रू करवा पाए हैं और फिर भी उसको हम छोटा मानते हैं बिकॉज ये तो सिर्फ शुरुआत है सो देर इज़ अ लॉट मोर वर्क एंड वी वॉन्ट टू डेमोक्रेटाइज डेट रेज इन इंडिया थ्रू द प्लेटफॉर्म Thank you. So you going by one bank to one bank, right? You go to bank A, you go to bank B, you go to bank C, you go to bank B S C A B C. You get them to come on one place and give them access to information at the same time, right? 
not only that with democratizing the entire information about your business everybody has same level of access and everybody will understand your business much before they actually come to your you know to 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 meet you and decide whether they you think you we spoke about credibility and assess credibility of getting money right technology will also help you in identifying the best product for your business as it evolves today people may or may not be aware of plethora of different products that can they, they can use depending on how their business evolves for example um, if you are into exports there is a solution known as export factory if you are an offshore business your business is abroad may need money right so these are different things today you may not have an export focused business but tomorrow you will right and you have zero credibility about your subsidiary abroad, but you need money over there right so as your business evolves technology can help you guide in terms of the right products the future today the way we see it is if your business today is taking a working capital loan or a cash credit facility from a bank every quarter you have to give some information called a stock stream right most of us have to do that what happens you put it out on a print of paper mera receivable itna hai inventory itna hai creditors itna hai 90 days ke upar paisa milega nahi residual ka funding hone wala hai right wo ac ke through certification tha iska future ye hai ki banks will actually start looking into and hooking up into your ecosystem directly your accounting systems if you are using solutions like tally you are using solutions like fresh books zoho erp solutions that are there the future is there because banks want access to data at a real time basis because they can dynamically reset your uh, limits as and when depending on how your business scales up right so that's the future that you are headed towards it is going to get transformation it is going to digitize the way limits are prescribed to you and your ability to utilize those limits from a working capital standpoint as well right so if you use a technology driven approach to raise money your turnaround time gets shorter access to information is broken down everybody has access to same level of information right and your cost of debt gets optimized why because you have multiple folks looking at your transaction instead of you looking at one is to one right you are doing bilateral conversations with one platform like one bank alone or one mbfc alone right so that's the benefit of you know using technology to raise debt now coming specifically to us while well, we do a lot of things but for this specific audience there are few things that we are talking about uh through our ub loans platform and the bonds platform that we have you can raise debt to meet your working capital needs your capital expenditure needs if you are exporting you need you know you need uh, epc you need uh, pre shipment credit post shipment credit things like that if you are uh, importing you need access to letters of credit if you are looking to uh, give guarantees you need bank guarantees as well so any product from the perspective of on balance sheet or off balance sheet is available on our platform for any business to uh, raise debt right including solutions which would be non bank end users today what is non bank end users today go to bank bank bolega paisa kiske liye chahiye to hum log chahiye okay capital uh, factory set up karne ke liye right nahi to what do you need money for working capital Right. So there is bank use bank end use restriction. Through our platform, you can even raise money for non bank end use restriction. Take an example. Let's take Sir's example. Right, Daffodil Group is looking to set up another factory. Uh, they want to expand their business. They are generating a lot of cash. Internal approvals are very high. Part of that expansion has to be funded through equity. Part of it has to be funded through debt. Right. So equity will come in a little bit from there. But banks can't fund if and, and, and when I'm saying about expansion, they are looking to buy an asset. Right. But they have identified a company which is not doing so well. It's fallen tough times. It's available on a deep discount value, right? And so decides to buy that uh, unit. If he wants to acquire the shares of that company, banks are not going to fund it because banks can't let you borrow money for investment in securities or shares. However, if you want to do and if you want to acquire the shares of the company, right? You will need financing, which is not because bank acquisition of shares is not covered by banks. So you can raise debt on our platform for even financing such an acquisition. Right, which is non bank end use financing right apart from that project finance setting up new factories etc all of that is possible moving along there are also off balance sheet solutions which are all supply chain finance focus which my colleague sagar will speak about uh, a little bit later uh, these could be in terms of vendor finance solution which help you expand your margins with vendors by earning a cash discount due to an early prepayment or it can be to grow your business through a network of dealer distributors It, it depends. It's not applicable for every uh, manufacturing unit, but like so, his business is all B to B, right? He sells to pharma companies. There's no dealer distributor who has to be as per my understanding. But there would be, you would be in businesses where you're working with a network of dealers, or you're thinking of setting up a dealer network, right? Or a distributor network. So you have solutions for that as well, which will allow you to grow your revenue with help of dealer and distributor finance. We spoke about factoring. You are exporting, and you have big customers abroad, right? 
if someone is exporting to you know uh, uh, let's say uh, a big company called he was he's exporting to coca cola for example to business or to a coca cola entity abroad coca cola is a double rated company double rated company very big right now he needs cash flows to come from the only one but wo log bada company hai to piche de ka sab right तो 90 डेज के बाद पैसा आता ही नहीं प्रोसेसिंग ही चालू होता है 90 डेज के बाद बट यू नीड द मनी टू डे बिकॉज यू हैव अदर यू हैव अदर कैश फ्लो इश्यूज सो यू हैव सॉल्यूशन व्हिच आर फैक्टरिंग वेयर यू कैन एक्चुअली सेल योर रिसीवेबल ऑफ कोको कोला टू अ फैक्टरिंग एजेंसी दे गिव यू मनी अप फ्रंट फॉर दैट राइट अदर सॉल्यूशंस आर लाइक सेल्स बाय डिस्काउंटिंग परचेस बाय डिस्काउंटिंग व्हिच कैन फाइनेंस योर इनवॉइसेस राइट इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिस्काउंटिंग द वॉल्यूम टू गेट एक्सेस टू वर्किंग कैपिटल ओनली From a value prop standpoint, what do we offer to businesses like yours? You hit the debt markets within a duration of 30 minutes, very fast, at a click of a button. Create a very simple profile about your business. What does that simple profile comprise of? Historical financial data, which any way we part, we we capture from MCA automatically. Um, who, what's your share capital like? Who are your existing lenders? Things like that. Create a very simple uh, profile about the business. Think of it as a LinkedIn profile for your business. Ideas use minimal amount of information. Hit the dead markets as soon as possible. You get a dedicated relationship manager from our end, who is typically an ex-banker. Sagar is an ex-banker, as he mentioned. He was at HSBC before. Ten to fifteen years, folks who have been there, done that, are specialist in their work. Right? Why? A relationship manager. Don't do just paisa levanu ne apna. Ima bada ne paisa de baat karne. Lenders ne pad ne tamil. Right? So you need you may need consultation, which is required from structuring your entire debt task itself. Right? And you start your lender engagements within a span of two days itself. The moment you go live on a platform. Not only that, credit evaluation करवाने के लिए यहाँ पर our platform supports businesses and becomes the first port of call to address any lender queries which are there. Right? All of which is available for future lenders to kind of consume. So they don't have to trouble you with the same set of questions again and again when it comes to credit evaluation of your business. Because of this, you get access to competitive pricing. Right? You are not speaking only to two three bankers. You are speaking to a bunch of bankers. There are settings available on the platform saying that okay, I HDFC, HDFC, my existing lender, say I don't want them to know this is on the platform. You can exclude that, right? Or you are already speaking with an SBI. If you don't want to use them on our platform, you can exclude that. Either. So your existing lender conversations and your existing lenders wouldn't know that you are using uh, UB because there's confidentiality and our business is entirely based on trust, right? Just two case studies that I have for you. One is about this one company called Gold Plus Glass. This is in the manufacturing business. Manufactures uh, some specialized glass, right? Uh, within a span of, they wanted some very quick money in the, for for uh, setting up their factory, right? Uh, to to set up some new lines of production that they had some new product that they wanted to launch. This company was a triple B plus rated company. It was more than 30 years old and more than 1,000 odd customers. When they came on our platform, within a span of around two months. They generated interest from about 20 odd lenders, and eventually, not everybody's commercials were forthcoming. However, they closed eight term sheets for 1,000 crores worth of expansion. They needed only 400 crores, but they had the option of going through the 1,000 crores and taking whatever made more sense to them. Because of the UB platform, they were able to save interest costs up to three and a half percent, right? And they raised this all in a duration of around two months. This is with regards to uh, capex. Another case study that I have for you is something for a company known as Seto. What they do is that they uh, connect manufacturers. Or about the newish funding, but uh, we are going to cover uh, you know about the ratings, which is a very important you know uh, when when uh, it comes about the funding or getting loans. So uh, we'll quickly you know touch about that. What are the benefits of the ratings? And uh, we'll also cover the uh, you know quickly cover the what is the key important factors which is covered during the rating and key trends in the various sectors in the recent past. So uh, when we talk about the ratings, right? Uh, it's all about trade ratings. So as a layman, uh, whether it's a personal loan or corporate ratings, right? Uh, uh, credit score or credit ratings is very important. For a lender, so if a rating is a good rating, I mean a, a, a rating for a company which is you know doing well, definitely they will get a fast and a cheap funding, especially when the the credit score or the credit rating is better. So it's a well known fact that uh, we definitely get a concessional funding provided the good ratings. Second is the business opportunities. So uh, 
this previous, uh, you know, uh, this are highlighted that uh, the SME platform. So uh, we have observed that even companies which are not having debt, still they, you know, go for the rating. So that gives a platform for them, you know, to bring in a, a kind of a discipline in terms of corporate governance, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, it provides, let's say, in export trades. There are, you know, requirements to, you know, go for the tenders. So these are the various, you know, uh, opportunities uh, 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 when, you know, these ratings are there. Also, there are examples where, you know, there are MNC companies who have large supplier or a customer base. So to deal with them, uh, they also, you know, uh, look into the rating of that entity. Also, uh, there is an example where you as a corporate want to deal uh, in the export market. So even rating is one of the tool where you can, you know, understand that uh, uh, whatever counterparty which you are dealing with, what is the, you know, credit uh, credibility of that entity. Even those who are exporters and they are doing the LC band, LC band exports. So we also get request that uh, the LC which is issued by a bank, what is the rating of that bank? Because whether at the end of the day that LC will get honored or not, right? So these are the various you know uses uh, as far as uh, uh, you know ratings are concerned in terms of the routine business. And obviously uh, the third <coughs> point is the self uh, uh, improvement. So like I said, even if uh, there are no debt, but uh, the ratings uh, <coughs> definitely gives in self improvement because throughout the year. I mean, uh, consistently rating there are engagement in terms of various business risk, financial risk, what is the uh, management and corporate governance, uh, you know, which is there in the company. So through rating, all these gets indicated. So over the period, because today a company, small entity, tomorrow it is going to be a big, right? So we have seen that lot of SMEs now in the main board, and they are doing perfect. I mean, well, and there are companies although classified as an SME, but they have a very good market position because they are in a niche segment. Turnover of 1500 crore doesn't mean that, I mean, the entity is small, but the market which they are catering. What I was supposed to present. So, uh, we are India's largest non-trades supply chain platform. Now, trades is a platform which is uh, driven by uh, the government of India, which is largely for MSMEs to receive their uh, money within the timeline of 45 years, wherein they can discount their bills and get the money. Uh, but it has its own shortcomings, wherein a vendor finance solution that a UB can provide, you know, can uh, actually improve that, and we can include in that structure not only MSMEs but also non-MSMEs as vendors who supply to you. So I'll get into the details later how we can do those things. But uh, what we offer is quick turnarounds because it's a digital process. Also quicker turnarounds because in one place where you have come for a demand that I want to do a vendor finance, you can access multiple term sheets from various lenders as double explained, right? We are a marketplace. So you may want to do a vendor finance program for say 20 crores. You may have 10 lenders who are interested to offer a term sheet to you through my platform, right? Which otherwise would be a time consuming effort at your end in meeting 10 different bankers at 10 different points in time. Also the fact that we uh, gather all the information about the corporate and populate it on our platform. These lenders actually access all the information through my platform without disturbing you or you know using your bandwidth. Sir, ye bata do, financials de do, apka creditors bata do. All that is available on my platform. So all those lenders are accessing information in a single place without eating into your bandwidth. So it makes the whole process of you know getting a term sheet, finalizing, sanction becomes very easy and faster. At the same time, it remains competitive because for the same 20 crore buy, you have 10 lenders who want to lend to you, right? So you can actually negotiate basis what you have across various term sheets and get the best out of it. And that's the whole idea or the victory of a marketplace where things become more efficient. The more you use, the more efficient it keeps getting, right? Uh, in fact, on supply chain, I have one uh, program which is like almost scaled to 500 crores today, right? There are three different lenders who have come to the program and each time a new lender came, he offered double the size of the limit and lowered the pricing. So it's an ongoing basis, it's a discovery journey where you know you keep getting <clears throat> better and more efficient because it's a marketplace, right? So that's one of the things. Uh, end to end digital journey, needless to say, uh, it can strengthen both your upstream and downstream. So we can have solutions on both 
your purchase side as well as your sales side okay we can do a window financing or a purchase bill discounting on a purchase side and on the sales side we can have a dealer buyer distributor financing or at the same time a sales bill discounting and depending on the kind of counterparties that you are dealing with the structure can be formulated then uh, obviously uh, top line and bottom line improvements i can talk about uh, very clearly on the sales side if you are running a program for your buyers you are putting more capital in their hands to buy more of your product right and and if you are competing uh, in a place where there are multiple players and you are in a commodity business obviously the one that is going to give more facility or ability to the buyer to purchase is going to win and have a better market share so uh, providing a buyer finance a dealer or a channel finance facility you is going to not only win you loyalty but also more business this is how you can improve your top line bottom line uh, on the purchase side as sir said that actually converts to profit if you are sourcing is frugal if you if you do it strategically and you can benefit from doing vendor financing by improving your working capital cycle or avail cash discounts obviously you are improving your margins which is bottom line so both these structures uh, you know uh, serve a different end goal but and they are achievable by doing both on the sales side as well as purchase side strengthens your balance sheet reduces cost needless to say as we spoke right how does it strengthen balance sheet because in both the purchase side and the sales side when you do a vendor financing you as a competitor not borrowing your supplier is the borrower so you have deleveraged your balance sheet right at the same time what otherwise you would have given you know availed of a credit period or uh, borrowed money from the banking system to make a payment to your vendor on your balance sheet now what you have done your vendor has become the borrower under vendor vendor finance program right so your your balance sheet is deleveraged so your balance sheet is improved your leverage ratios have improved because you have reduced the balance sheet debt right which is very very important so it's an off balance sheet product in most cases it is also unsecured and with a non recourse okay on the anchor corporate because the worthiness of the anchor corporate is far better than a supplier who may be a smaller msme a micro player a smaller player a partnership an llp or a individual proprietor doing small time business or could just be a trader who is supplying material to you so he can benefit through your credit strength and at the same time you can benefit by improving your margin by having a cash discount or improving your working capital cycle by extending your days payable so that is something you can do so uh, this is how it works what is ub flow do and uh, you know what is the basis the reality sir said give a very good example of kfc every consumer is not the same their their the type of the consumer is different his preference is different correct his size is different his credit worthiness is different the way he structured is very different so the credit worthiness and the risk point at which each buyer comes into a program okay is very different so a rate or a pricing that is offered to a triple a rated customer cannot be offered to a unrated or a double b customer right so there is a different price for a different risk what ub flow does is we can bring you multiple programs across different lenders starting from say psu banks giving you very good rates for some of your largest buyers customers dealers distributor all the way up to very high team rates from smaller nbfcs who are able to accommodate even your smaller buyers or smaller dealers who otherwise will not get money from the formal financing system right so somebody with a very low civil score can also be accommodated in your buyer finance or a channel program which a bank would not accommodate at a 9 10% rate but at a 18% rate he could also be accommodated so you can cover your entire buyer base under a channel finance or a buyer finance program to push more sales across the chain right so the fact that we acknowledge that your buyer set is not a heterogeneous or a single set they are not all the same it's not homogeneous it's heterogeneous right they are all different so providing different programs at different price points i mean lenders at different risk points at different price points is something which differentiates what we do compared to dealing with a single lender who can only cover a part of your sales and then if you enter into multiple agreements with various lenders you are multi you are operating with multiple lenders at different conditions terms conditions uh, at the same time different platforms you are in a single platform you are able to scale like as give you an example of one of the आवाज अवनवा वीडियोज अब तक चैनल ने सब्सक्राइब लाइक और शेयर करता ना भूलशो आज रीते जोड़ेला रहो अब तक साथ